I know I already did a T-ball recently, but uh, I don't know. I'm feeling uh, opinionated about the whole high art, low art thing. Like, if you follow me on like social media, you already know what this rant is going to be. Um, feel free to stick around if you liked it in text form. Uh, if you don't, it really, really frustrates me that people get caught up in this distinction between high media and low media. I mean, I'm not going to judge anyone who's working in an academic context and has to deal with the classist system. They have to justify why it is even possible for whatever they want to study to be worthy of study. And you know what? Do what you can. If, if your funding depends on it, or if your ability to get published depends on it, or anything like that, do what you can. Do the thing. Because it matters. The important thing, though, for, for me, when, when it's like I'm reading something or watching a video or whatever, I want to know how the video game or the fanfic or the painting or the musical composition or this work that was created to be perceived, understood, or misunderstood, responded to, interpreted. I want to get what it does and why it matters and why, not matters in the sense of like, this is a continuation of the tradition of the ancient Greek playwrights. Ancient Greek playwrights can defend themselves. Um, I want to know why... I want to know why people... I want to know what people are getting out of it. I want to know what it was trying to do. I want to know if it succeeded. I want to know what it did. And what that does to at least some people. I want to know how to connect the, the, the tools employed in its in its creation, the effects produced by the finished work with other stuff that uses related tools and produces related effects. When it comes to high versus low, when it comes to, you know, popular fiction versus highbrow fiction or whatever, like, it, a lot of people, like, I experienced this whole high-low distinction. It is kind of trying to make an argument about what's worthwhile in a system that assumes the only thing that's worthwhile is the thing that has the stamp of approval. It, it assumes that worthwhile is a description of status and not a description of a relationship between people considering a work and people and, and the work and the people who created it. That's really the whole of it, if I'm going to be honest, is just I want the important part to be the art. I, I, and when it comes to stuff like, is this noble? Is this ennobling? Is this worthy? Is this elevated? Is it is it something that we should hold up as one of those things that shows you really understand art. 
much. And you really get it. And you have the skill to get it. And, and you are educated by it. Like, is this something we should put on the reading list? I don't believe in... I, if you're not, like, a professional in a context which requires things of you, if you're not, like, a professional musician who needs to have know the standard repertoire for your... For the genres in which you perform. If you're like just a person who wants to experience art, to engage with art, experience art, engage with art, and it, it, nothing at all, anywhere, is the thing that makes you educated, is the thing that makes you better. There is no, like, nobility is a lie. It is people trying to explain why they deserve things that they deny the rest of the, of rest of people. I mean, it is a claim of superiority that just so happens to line up exactly with who has power and just so happens to justify the violence used to maintain that power. Like, play fanfare for the common man over the background here, because screw that. If it means something, If it means something, then it is good. If it means something, then it is worthwhile. If you're getting stuff out of the experience, if it is changing the way you feel in the moment, if it is changing the way you think in the future, if it is putting into words something that you didn't express, if it is letting you kill time, in a way that isn't stressful, if it is stressing you out in a way that you don't experience much. Like, I don't, I don't even want to say what art is for. I just want to say, what's happening? What is happening to people? And like, the only thing happening to people in that whole conversation about what is high art and what is low art, what is divine and what is common. Where divine means it is the greatest thing that you can engage with, and common means it's trash. That is a thing that happens to justify violence. Whereas, what do people feel when they experience it? How do they get confused by it? How do they resolve that confusion? How do they differ? What did I experience when I went through this? What did I experience when I played, um, I know, Super Hexagon by Terry Cavanaugh? Like, that, like, I want to talk about I want to talk about getting into a flow state in, in Super Hexagon. Everything is happening incredibly quickly. And, like, either you, you fail or you get into that, get into a state where you can act consistently, fractions of a second, accurately for a minute. Like, I think the longest you have to, I think... Yeah, no, each level, if you last one minute, then you've beaten the level. And it is about seconds. And, 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 and it's about, okay, spoiler alert, like, skip ahead ten seconds if you don't want to know. There's a bit in the first level where it switches from a hexagon to a 
pentagon or square even, and it confuses everyone when they first encounter it, but they almost always navigate it right. And I think that's just hilarious as a thing to to observe in gameplay. I just think that that says... I think that this says really interesting things about what this game is about. I could have a whole conversation about Super Hexagon. And the question is, if, is it an art game? Like, I don't even care now. Like, the question of, is it an art game? Okay, all games are art. Problem solved. Let's just talk about what it does. Because that's what we do with art. We talk about it what it does. I, I've kind of lost track of this rant. But I think you know what I'm getting at is just this whole thing of there's so much to talk about that is about this piece of art, this genre of art, art itself, and people. And using art to talk about who gets respect and who doesn't, just give people respect. At least as far as being things that can be impacted by experiences and talk about those experiences like high art and low art is 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 garbage i remember kai Kaufman pointing out a why in a recent video like the word highbrow comes from like Phrenology, which is this, like, racist pseudoscience from 150 years ago or something. It is... Uh, the entire concept of highbrow is BS made up to justify violence. It is saying we are better people because our heads are shaped differently and that means that we aren't better. And, like, I'm not gonna spoil, like, the ending of that video because it's kind of interesting and gets into kind of his own thoughts about the the, uh, the 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 commentary he produces, the art criticism, and the artistry of the art criticism. I'm just gonna throw that in there. There's there's some artistry going on there, but about his own art criticism. But like, high brow, high versus low. It ticks me off, and arguments about it tick me off. Even if they're like, this thing you like is high art. I'm like, I don't care. I don't want it to be. I don't want any of this. I don't want this categorization to exist. I want people experiencing stuff and understanding how they relate to the world around them, how other people relate to the world around them through this stuff that they find together, through stuff that people bring to them and which they go what does this mean that you have brought me? Whether or not they know what, who the you is. It, it changes what it means if you know who, who brought it to you and know more about them. But, like, just the bare act of this is a piece of art. Someone decided that it was... It mattered enough to them that they wanted other people to experience. And... Wow, I'm just, I'm doing nothing but just rant ranting and repeating myself. But, I think you know what I mean. I want art to be art. I don't want it to be an argument about who's good and who's not. About what is ennobling and what is not. About what makes you better and what makes you worse. About what deserves respect and what deserves contempt. I want it to be... People experience things in the world and talk about their experiences and talk about what they know about what people experience. And, 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 and there is so much that is worth talking about. And whether something is highbrow or lowbrow, it's only worth something to people who think that there are worthy people and unworthy people. Or people trying to convince this idea out in space that there's worthy and unworthy. 
that they are worthy. If you're trying to convince people that you're worthy, I hope they, I hope they realize it, because you are. If you're trying to convince people that you're more worthy than others, I don't want to hear it. And yeah, so, as you can see, I'm pretty passionate about this, so I'm in the vlog. And I'm just going to refill this. Thanks for listening. I'm gonna just dump this out before I go away.